Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Well, it's about that time we talked about fathering autism one more time. If you don't know anything about fathering autism, buckle up. This guy has been exploiting his autistic daughter for years and years and years. Their entire platform, their entire wealth was built off exploiting his child. It's one of the worst ones I've ever seen, one of the earliest ones I've ever seen. And I remember going back in the day when uh, Asa here told me that I couldn't even sit at the same table with him. I couldn't even argue about anything. He actually did speak to me before he blocked me. Today we're gonna talk about the wealth that they've built off the back of Abigail's back and what they've done with it and how they've squandered it. Let's get to it. A little while ago, Asa and Priscilla opened a shop called Selfie World Jacks, and it's obviously a place where you go and they set up little booths that are cool and you could take photos for your Instagram, which is, I can't believe this industry exists. It's it's absolutely mind blowing where we are as people. And we had one of the whistleblowers come on and talk about how he was mistreated by Asa and how he wasn't given the proper tools to, to complete his job and uh, how bad they were and everything else. And that guy, you know, came on and told his story bravely, I think. It was almost silenced legally, I think. I haven't spoken to him in a little while. But uh, very telling that, you know, Asa said that he hires mostly people that are on the spectrum and uh, from what we heard from the whistleblower, that's just not true. Um, and so anyway, they, they started this business and they, you know, expected it to be probably their retirement. I don't know. And it's crazy because they have bought things that will blow your mind with the money that they have built off the exploitation of Abigail. Okay. $20,000 golf carts that they just drive around the block in. Uh, they've bought Fifty to sixty thousand dollar RVs, seventy five to one hundred thousand dollar trucks, motorcycles, and all these things, and 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 in the end, it's it's her that really really needs all the money and support and all the care, right? And and they they take her on adventures that she doesn't want to go on. You can tell because she hates it, and they even admit it that she hates it. It's just crazy. And they've done all this, and they've built all their wealth and everything off of this exploitation. Enter in Priscilla Moss, who starts what's called Lipstick Mama, and it's an MLM for some lips, I forget the name of it, some bullshit MLM. And she leveraged her fame from the exploitation of Abigail to, to sell shitty makeup to people and has made that company over $1.25 million, which she sees a cut of. She hasn't made a million dollars. She's made the company over a million dollars. And you know how I feel about MLMs. They are shady. They prey on the weak. They prey on the poor. They prey on people with all these promises of amazing wealth and all this stuff. But the truth is the top 1% who actually make money in these companies are people like her who already have platforms. It's not the, it's not the plebs beneath them, right? And so all this time, and, they, and, and they'll tell you it's all about them. It's all about them. They did this all. But it's all off the exploitation. And it cannot be ignored. And so now I guess the company's going under, like I guess they're selling jacks or something like that. And so we're going to take a look at it. And we're going to talk a lot more about these people. Because, in my opinion, are one of the most disgusting exploiters. Because Abigail will never, ever be able to give verbal consent. Nor will she be able to give consent at all, in any way. Cognitively or whatever. She has a button on her iPad for donut, but not for stop filming. And we've seen her in the past put her hand on the camera, I want to stop filming. We've seen him, like, here's how she uses the bathroom. That was the first video I ever did on Fathering Autism. It's insane. And he just, he, they, they're so unhappy, too. You can tell it. But the money, again, just like Doherty does and just like all the other family vloggers I cover, money matters more than anything, including their child's dignity. So let's take a look at this video. The original drawing? Yeah, yeah of course. I watch it. I've never watched it. It's on Disney, Disney Plus. Disney, yeah. Okay. You best buy something now. Yeah, it's, that's... Let me know if you've seen the original Tron movie. Priscilla's with her mom. What the hell just happened here? What's going on? So we Okay. Dumbass, let's go. We're hanging out. It's Black <laughs> Friday. And we didn't do any Black Friday shopping. Mm -hmm. But like we're on our way to do something else. So we're like, you know what? Mom hates it here anyway. <laughs> Oh, ow! 
Oh my gosh, as soon as I started filming, that stupid siren went off. Don't worry, I mean, those sirens, those like stolen item sirens set everybody off. They're the worst. So apparently there was a stolen siren and she probably had a fit inside of Best Buy. Thank God he didn't film it because it's probably the first time he hasn't done that. We're not really here to, like, I don't have anything in mind to buy. You know, I don't even buy anything. You don't have any money to buy anything? Mm-hmm. Okay. Something stupid my friends might want. Maybe you should buy a $100,000 truck, you know, a $50,000 RV, $25,000 $20, golf cart, brand new homes. You bought your son a home. Yeah. All, all Abigail gets is an iPad. <laughs> you know what I find really, really interesting, too? And it's uh, something I might have overlooked in the past is that Abigail is an, is an expert in her iPad. She knows how to navigate this thing fluid, fluidly, like, and it's the way she speaks and everything else. And that's all she, they've ever taught her. When you know, they can teach her a lot more. When he pulled her out of school, a lot of people started messaging me and saying, this is ridiculous. She's at a school that has professionals that are going to do what she needs to do. She's going to teach her what she needs to know. And they pulled her out of that school and had a teacher at home. And then they fired that teacher. Right? And said it was bad. She was terrible. And she might have been. And now you got Asa here who is absolutely not credentialed or experienced in teaching this at all. Yeah, you might be her dad. That's great. It doesn't mean that you're educated enough to teach her what she needs to know. Like, did you go to some class or course or anything? Like, I get that they say, well, we know her, but it doesn't matter. You're lazy. If there's one thing we know about Priscilla and Asa, they are lazy AF. They sit around on their phones all day long. They don't do shit. Okay, they are lazy. And they talk, and they've had respite forever. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with respite. I'm just saying the amount of respite they've had has been crazy. Like, we're talking living people that give them respite daily. I'm soaked. And she slaps her feet, so yeah. drenches my feet. He doesn't like pushes her, too. It's not, it's not like, hey, let's go. He, like, pushes her. There's a difference between guiding someone to a car and then just, like, literally just pushing her. That didn't sit right with me. I didn't like that. Because he's all mad that she made him wet, so he pushed her. I know I'm being overly sensitive here because I hate this guy, but that didn't sit right with me. Ooh, is that Hobby Lobby? Oh, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Is that like the hipster grocery store one? It's all expensive? Parking lot kind of sucks. It really sucks. It's oh, does the parking lot suck now? <laughs> You're like, you know what we don't like about this place? The parking lot is totally bad. That's why we lost money on this business. The worst. It's like every turn is not wide enough. Yeah. Every every middle of the lane. Every parking spot is narrow. Yeah. Another way. Go through the trash. Some of these sets look like my kid design <laughs> in Minecraft. It's it's odd when him and Isaiah get together. They make fun of Abigail a lot, and I know it's probably like more an endearing thing. Like they're not like doing it to be mean or anything, but it's again something that just doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't. So we're gonna we're here taking some pictures um, at Selfie World, not of us, of of the props and whatnot, um, so we can liquidation sale. The hell is that? Good job finding the trash. Yeah, we're selling selling off everything. Um, we're getting out of the getting out of the selfie business. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you probably lost a shit ton of money. That's what happened here. So they went into this. This is the thing about people who don't understand about business. I'm not saying I do. I've got some very, very good friends who are very good at business, okay? I've always got the idea I just never, like, expand on. I can't, like, I'm not a good executor. But I, were, I will help, and I'm good at, like, dreaming and vision. That's, like, I'm good at that part. But, like, I got best friend, my, my best friend Mark, like, he's been in business for over, like, 15 years. He's one of the best custom home builders, right? He knows what it takes to do this. And it's like, these people, especially people who come into money, family vloggers, a lot of them start businesses. If there's one thing, you, if you noticed, right? Ace Family is one of those ones that did scam businesses. A lot of them tried businesses. Tara Henderson, which I'm going to snark on for Snarkmas, she does, like, a, a, a clothing company. So does uh, Aaron Williams. And so does, like, all they all have a clothing company, right? It's all clothing. Bullshit that they buy in China and then they sell for a marked up price. Okay, baby Kira did that with her blankets. They all do. They all start this business, and it's really, really, really rare for any of these businesses to actually work. Because what they're doing is they're leveraging their fame to bring people in, which is what Priscilla does for her MLM. But this 
might have been a good idea, a flash in the pan idea, and it might have made somebody somewhere money. But it's a, it's a dumb idea because social media, it ebbs and flows. And the people who do this tend to do it like once, and they're not like repeat customers. If you're going to get into business, get into a business that's going to have repeat customers that is evergreen. And that's coming from someone who is like, you know, has the best idea for business ever, Bromart Cards, and I just can't execute it. I'm just saying, if you do something evergreen, you you give our life, you got to give them a little bit of credit because at least they're doing a donut shop, duck donuts or whatever it is. That's an evergreen business, something people will come back to to buy donuts, right? Selfie World is not a donut company. It's a shitty, unless you change those things like every other day, people have done it already. They're not coming back for it again. Plus, it's going to set to fail when you don't actually do any work there and you just expect these minimum wage employees to run the whole thing for you and you have a manager as a shitty person there, right? Because we, if you go back and watch the Whistleblow episode. Photography studio business, so. Oh, is, is that what you call it? Photography studio? It's been, it's been. Having a ring light and then taking pictures of your phone is not a photography studio, okay? It's, it's pretty shitty. That thing coming for a time. We didn't really, you know, we didn't talk about it in the vlog. It really has nothing to do with it, but. Oh, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Although you talked about it in the vlog when you started it because you think it was the next thing, next best thing since sliced bread. You know. You know, we didn't. I love this just, I don't like the passe attitude he has here because he's he's failing. And he doesn't want to show you his failures. And these people are like so real and raw and showing their daily life that like, this is a huge hit to his to his ego. Right. These people have uh, it's it's so it's so funny to watch all these YouTubers who are like, do you know who I am? They, they get this ego in their head and they think they're something that they're not. And it's really, really humbling when this thing happens to you. And you're like, oh, it's, it's nothing to do with the vlog. It, it absolutely had done it because you started it and you vlogged about this thing like it was like you were the second coming of selfie Christ. OK, so no, you don't get to just th you don't get to give you all passe about it. But all of these props and fixtures and lighting and all this stuff. So if you need the front of a car, we got gotcha. you. If you're feeling <laughs> okay. and bad and bougie, yeah. I got a neon for you. Mercedes Benz oil drums, right? If you need them. Nobody needs that shit. And if you do, you're weird. Hey, somebody's somebody's like man cave, like some some that's gonna be Yeah, that's no. Maybe donate it to a church or something. I don't know. I don't think they go to church. Donate it to a children's hospital. That'd be pretty cool. Might be donate it to Abigail School or something like that. There's a million places you could donate this to, but these people, they need to recoup some of their losses is what I'm saying. They've lost money. They This bled them gosh. Bled. Like they, I'm pretty sure they weren't even in business for a year. And so to me, that tells me that you literally lost money and you have to close it because you're just, you're, you're leaving your lease early and everything, which means that you're like, you're jumping ship because your losses are so bad that it's cheaper for you to jump ship and break your leases and shit. It's going to be set up. Oh my. The lights aren't flickering. It's the frame rate of the camera versus the, yeah. Okay. Gosh. <laughs> Who wants a whole bunch of nasty balls? That's badass, so I'm not gonna lie. I want one of those with wheels on it. I need me a throne. This thing, I don't know what we're gonna do with this stuff. That, you can leave it at your house. That's a cool little corner piece. You don't have to sell that. That's pretty cool. Give that to Abigail. That could be her that could be her throne since she's the queen of your vlog. She's the reason you make your money. The, Just turn your lights on overhead. Are you helping your mom? <laughs> That's so nice. Notice how it's just like one little segment. They're like, eh, they, oh yeah, we didn't really want to talk about it that much. Yeah, we get it. Your failure. Dude, they have, that dishwasher just has a fork and knife thing at the top. That's baller. They always do this too. It's like, let's do this like wholesome thing where something's going on before we talk about this thing. And I guarantee you, I haven't seen this yet. They're not going to look at the camera when they talk about the hard thing. Right? The thing that's hurt their pride. They lost money on. They spent this. They, and again, think about this for a second. This is Abigail's money. Right? I'm not saying they're not owed anything. But they did build this off exploitation. Abigail is worth the lion's share of their money. Ace is the one who does the work. Priscilla has capitalized and made money off doing nothing for this whole thing. All she does is yap and wear Dorito bag shoes. If anything, Ace... 10%. You get 10%. Abigail is owed 90%. That's that's my breakdown. That's my 
That's my thing. And when you go and, and buy a business, I don't know how much it probably costs you to license the selfie world thing and to lease that place and to hire all these people and to buy all that shit, you're probably in it hundreds of thousands of dollars that you just kind of threw into the wind. Wow. Great job, parents. It's a sad day. So it's struggling. <laughs> And, and it's, it's just, you know what I mean? They're just, they're just kind of like, <laughs> you're just, uh. we're going to, we're moving stuff out of self or world today. So you're struggling about, Sex. you got your business, Silla lipstick on a pig or whatever it's called. You got your money. You make your cash. I, it's not even, it's just like, oh, it's like cure from okay, baby. Not sad that she broke up her family. Sad because they lost money and their, in their business venture is done. They're sad because this is hitting their pride. They're pissed that they lost out in the pride. Guys, I don't I need you to not to forget either that karma happens to people. This guy literally has a daughter, I think who's 20, out in the world who he has abandoned completely. Don't ever forget that. Karma. Day, huh? yep. You know what though? Like we knew it was a it was a trend business. Right. You know, the economy's tanking. Did you? <laughs> the economy was tanking last year too. You did this shit during COVID. We knew it was a trend business, so we sunk $100,000 or $200,000 into it. Did you know it was a trend business? Okay, so why did you sink so much money into it then? Oh, I can't wait. I love hearing this shit. Like, we're overwhelmed with everything that we have to do. Like, we've taken on way too many things. Right. Like, there's so many reasons that this well, is a good thing. It's changed drastically yeah. this year. Let's conv we're going to convince ourselves and try to convince our audience that this is a good thing that we just threw away so much money that could have helped Abby for her future. They said, I think in a post earlier, it's going to take $8 million for her to live her life without them, right? So if they pass away or she wants, or she goes and lives on her own and they put her in a, a, a home for people like her, that would pay $8 million for her to live comfortably for the rest of her life. And if you don't have that put away now, and they don't, then stop spending her effing money. When you've got the $8 million put away, go do what you want. How about that? But they don't. And they said, we're doing this because, and, and they've used this excuse a million times. Well, we're doing this for her, for her, for her, for her. You're living in a new home. Your son has a home. You guys have a brand new truck. You have a new RV. You bought a business. You did all this shit. You travel all the time. You buy so much shit. You eat out almost every single day of the week. Are you telling me that you're being responsible with that money? That's going to be all for her future. Like you say it is something tells me you're a bullshit liar. We didn't expect to be homeschooling. Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> you know, that was... <laughs> Maybe that's because no one wants to work for you. Has anybody ever, uh, you know, talked about that a little bit? Why does nobody want to work for you? Why does everybody that comes to you who helps you and does all these things like the summer and the other girl and this teacher, why is it that you have nobody left? Hmm. Interesting. You don't want to talk about that either. Weird. Don't let it escape you that these people have alienated and burned every bridge. So what we can see anyway. And it's all because they're selfish. Because those people were actually there to help Abigail and had relationships with her. I think the long and I think Summers might still be in the picture a little bit. But those people were there for Abigail, and these people are so selfish that they've made it about them. It really bugs me. Because all the people that were there to help her are no longer there. But who's left? Right? It really sits, it just hits different when you put it in that kind of perspective. It's the biggest thing. So yeah. um amazing woman. <laughs> Um, told me that this could have this is the cheapest way we could have gotten a business education education yeah. isn't cheap I'm sure I'm sure it's in the hundreds of thousands I'm like yeah. very true yeah so a, de a degree and, like and we, we've run other it feels so good to see these people humbled but at the same time them trying to be like turn it into a good thing and see the silver lining at all right you know, this, someone said to me once that you're stupid, but at least you're stupid for less than a million. What are you saying? Get wrecked. So dumb. Your logic. I get, I get, I understand. Like, I understand human nature, right? People like this have been trying their best to do all these things, to be rich and be wealthy and all this stuff. They finally hit the big time. They hit the dream. They make the money. They do all that stuff. Their view counts are down on YouTube. Let me take a look quick. Fathering Autism, 623,000 subscribers. They have a B grade. They, they're still growing, right? It's not, they haven't lost subscribers. And in the last 30 days, they've pulled in 4 million views, 4.3 million. So they're pulling in about 
they're still pulling in around fifty to sixty thousand dollars a month just on YouTube. So I mean, that's more money than most people make in a year, and they pull that in in a month. The lime, the slime life that she makes probably gives her a few hundred thousand dollars a year too. They're making bank still, okay? But they lost a huge ass chunk of money doing what they did with this thing, and they're trying to diminish it, and so they're trying to hold on to their pride a little bit. You know, we're so glad we got this business and um, you know acumen and uh, scholarships and shit. Businesses, but like there are things that you only learn in the real world and yeah business degrees pretty pricey yeah sorry so you're trying to tell me that your failed business here is akin to a business degree <laughs> okay <laughs> i love it i know you guys are trying to feel good about your failure i get that that's cool i'm gonna use this from now on whenever i fail something you know, when my wife, you know, if we failed something, I'd be like, you know what? It's it's like a, I just got a degree, though, in business after my failed business. If you had a degree in business, you wouldn't have failed at business. Well, maybe you would have. So, yeah, I thought y'all were insane. Boom, Isaiah. Like, I thought it was a stupid idea. I mean, I was excited for it, but I was like, this is, there's no way. People don't like pictures that much. At least he's being honest. And then it actually was, like, really, really cool. And I was like, wow, this isn't just, right. like, a tarp in the background. It's not so cool. Our problem. Yeah, yeah, let him finish the sentence there, Scylla. Let him finish. <laughs> but then I can, then, but then you guys ended up did losing a whole shit ton of money. So, yeah, yeah, it was dumb. I was right. This, we can't have our hands on it. Yeah. If, if we had the time to put our hands on it. Yeah. But that was never. No. 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 What are you going to do? Again, this is just showing that. She, is she really just admitting there that we just took a step back and didn't do anything and so it failed? That just goes to show how lazy you are and how dumb you are with your money. What a waste of money. This was a waste of Abigail's money that you promised her on your channel. Okay? We're going to go back and maybe we'll find all the times you say, oh, this is for Abigail and she needs this much money. Until you have that much money put away for her, which I, I, I highly doubt they have, honestly, anything. To, I swear to God. Like anything put away for her. Highly doubt it. It's probably in their savings account or whatever. Not in her name or anything. It's probably just sitting there. And when everything falls apart, they dig into their savings. Right? These people got a few years left. They're only in their 40s, I think. Okay? So, you know? For the goal right that was like if you go back and watch the original video that was never the goal i think that was that was the mistake what was never the goal mistake and thinking that we could uh, we could do this day. and and it and it be without being hands on the whole time like i feel like i'm pretty sure all you thought you could start a business and just it'll run us <laughs> you ever met people Right? You're going to pay people minimum wage? You think those people are going to run your shit? Okay. Clearly, you've never run a business because you know a business takes over your entire life. There's no way you could have been vlogging and do all this stuff if you want a successful business. It has to literally take over your entire life. Those who I've known who've owned businesses have literally the worst personal lives I've ever seen in my life. If anything I've seen from these types of people is I would prefer to make a little bit of money and spend time with my family, make a ton of money and never see my family again. That's the thing I've learned. The successful ones, um, like the owners are there every day, right? Or the majority of them, of the of the, fran of the Selfie World franchises. So, um, and there's a lot of really successful ones. You know, it's not... It's just not what y'all want just, to do. It just... Nah, no, it's, no, it's what they wanted to do. They wanted to make money and they did something that was not evergreen. If you guys want to know the... The, the term evergreen has come to my life a lot lately. And this thing like about a, being a content creator that creates evergreen content. Right, that's another big thing. That's I'm pretty niched here on this channel, but there is some evergreen content on my channel, and that's something that I'm working on in this new venture I'm doing with Mark. Is we're creating like an evergreen feel good style channel for that's going to keep people interested. Evergreen, that makes sense. So evergreen is something that is ever awesome that you can go back. Like, hey, how do I tie a tie? And you go to the video, and you've seen that video ten times. You tie tie. That's evergreen. You're always going to go back to this video about how to make the best mac and cheese in the world. That's evergreen. Some of my, you know, my my parodies. That's evergreen. <laughs> it just happened that way. It's so. not my passion. Yeah, it's not your passion. So then, why did you start it? What's your passion? Slime life? Is your passion doing makeup? Because I don't see that either. Burn. <laughs> I just don't want to show I am. Yeah. So we'll be doing I get sad when away. they I get sad when they fire the 
football coaches. Yeah, like, oh my gosh, yeah, no. The end of anything like, makes her sad. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's somebody's livelihood, mm-hmm. which thank goodness this isn't our livelihood, but you know. Yeah. Make sure you throw it in there. That's somebody's livelihood. Okay, Dorito shoes. <laughs> You guess you, you get sad when you fire a, a, a coach, but you guys probably had to let go of what eight to ten, eleven staffers. That might have been their livelihood. What about those people? Did you cry? I yep. So we'll be doing a ring light giveaway. <laughs> um, I got 150 ounces. 150 ring lights. Damn, it's a lot of ring lights. <laughs> what are you looking like? Oh yeah, we failed. Gramps, Gramps already. I just I just splashed a little. Coffee in my eye. Uh, already claimed one of them. Can he say a sentence, Scylla? One sentence. Just give him one. One sentence. For the love of God, lady. Yeah, Gramps we see, like, we have to why see is, why is your Can dad? somebody finish a sentence? Anybody? Anybody? Just put your hand up from this point forward. Finish a thought. I don't want a Isaiah's already. I was like, I'm out of here. Peace out, bitches. Played a disco ball. So did so did my dad. Yeah, my dad's see? like, how do you think a disco ball would look on the oh back of you? <laughs> Your dad has terrible sense of humor. Yeah, I said it. I'll tell you what. There's, there's. I'll tell you what. It's like a, a planter hook right in the middle of the house, you know. And I don't want to put a plant there because I have a chair underneath, so it stresses me. I'm just gonna pour water down. So it's like, oh, what am I gonna do? Disco ball. So go. much cooler. The coolest option. <laughs> do you need a ring light? <laughs> Why not? I mean... No. No, he doesn't. Take like some se- selfies. Oh. Sexy selfies as well as I, I said. I thought you were. That's what you were saying. But I didn't, I didn't know. All right, let's get going. We. <laughs> All right, nice joke. Let's go. We've got five days to do this, but still, you know. We don't have five days free to do this, but we have five, five, five days. Only- what else you have to do? What else you doing there, Asa? <laughs> for, for one. Yeah. Two. No. One. Well, we'll get the big heavy stuff first. <laughs> Real talk, though. Like, if you're looking for a throne, <laughs> we've got one. Put, again, I keep that shit. Guess you got on your Christmas hat. Come here. Come show him your Christmas hat. Come here. Come up, up. He's wearing his Christmas scarf. Ready? Right? Do you want a nugget? Is that what you came up here for? Did you come up here for a nugget? Okay, go on. I don't know what to do with that, so that's... Like, I would keep that shit. It's a throne. It's probably worth a thousand dollars, that chair. It's like the... Abby, new song. That's what she's doing. Change it. <laughs> well, you can hear it Our anyway. DJ. I know. Well, we took her chair from back to... Going... <laughs> you know what they're most sad about? They have to do some manual labor. <laughs> now we gotta do this shit ourselves! Cause you got they have they said did he say have 150 ring lights? Them shits are like 50 bucks a pop. Well, all those shells were slammed full. Yeah, it's going well. Where are you putting it all? Hey, babe, I, this flower wall is gonna look amazing in your office. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, I think it will. You're no. no, you're not. <laughs> what the heck is that? Dummy prop. Oh. Put it in your chair in your bedroom. Could you imagine waking up? Sick. Oh, why are his hands up close like that? <laughs> you Dress you it how you like. Yeah. yeah. They've got multiple rubber dolls. <laughs> what? That's how we we do. have a couple of costumes for them. You have costumes? Hey, Asa, so why don't you do some work? Put the camera down there, bro. <laughs> for your dummy? Yeah. You guys need to go to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> you need to talk this out with somebody. You can't have, I have skeletons and all kinds of stuff here. It's cool. Costumes There's like six Christmas trees up there. Adult. You know, on a sad day. Hold this ladder tight. Okay, buddy. You're not on, like, you know, rocky ground or anything. <laughs> it warms my heart. Cool, thanks, Priscilla. <laughs> You're doing extra special good, Priscilla. You're working real hard. You guys cackling back here. <laughs> Putting it in the trailer? That's the trailer you got for all your shit? That's a small trailer. Thank you. Uh-oh, grab that one for me, would you? First load. Wow, great packing skills. <laughs> Oh my god. So Isaiah went out with friends for the evening. I would too, man. Helping you do your failed business. Priscilla was, you know, doing mom stuff, putting Abby to bed, doing laundry. So I had some time to myself to think while I was out there unloading the trailer. And and I remembered something. I don't remember which audio book it was from Audible, not sponsored. Um, or how many different audio books it was mentioned in. But 
The only the only time you fail. <laughs> the justification train just keeps on rolling. We didn't fail in business. Everybody failed us. Is when you don't learn. That's okay. a quote. I like a lot of business. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So what are you going to do, another business after this? You know what I mean? Yeah. I just kept thinking about that. I was like, you know, that's the only time you... This guy's Googling quotes to say on his show, so people are like, we didn't fail, we learned, we got a business degree. <laughs> fail us when you fail to learn. Oh, my gosh. But, <sighs> All right, buddy. Yeah, it's super interesting. Today, um, about shutting down uh, Selfie World and so much support and love and, and just people being awesome. We appreciate that. Wow. You blocked a lot of people, so I'm sure your echo chamber is intact because I know what I. You blocked so many people from commenting on your shit. Very much. It was it was just you know they they commented on on Facebook, so it was cool, you know, to see them comment. Remembering back to that. The other cool thing. I you only miss all the shots. You refuse to, to shoot into the net. I, I read that somewhere. I was thinking about the other day. Is we were able to employ people yeah and those people no longer have jobs Ooh. with oh my gosh have you yep three years yep and you didn't know that that opened nope really? wow fire hazard yep that's funny my brain is not work like that but i'm like this is a stupid design <laughs> um that's so funny so we were able to employ people with differing abilities. Yes. And one of the young men, I won't mention who it was, went on to get employee of the month at his new job. Well, that's all on you, I guess. Did she literally just take credit for letting go of people who had jobs there to go on to other places? And like, he literally got, <laughs> so that's on us. We taught him everything he knows. <laughs> Like, and he had never had a job oh before. God. What about that employee that came on my show? What about him? Hmm? Oh, yeah. We were his first job, and I think he learned so much. Like, he was awesome. And I wow, you guys just took credit for that. You really just... <laughs> They're just reaching, right? There's like the amount of freaking... The, the reach. Remember Stretch Armstrong in the 80s? That's, that's what's going on here. And that was kind of... That was one of our... Well, it was one of those things like... We Letting the heat out. You set out to Florida, though. do something, and you have these these Just goals. Leave the mind. door open. What if freaking? What if like a freaking raccoon comes in? And right, your goals change because you you don't you don't have the foresight to see these things coming. Your goals change when you fail. <laughs> and and what it ended up happening with a lot of people that we employed was it being their first job or maybe even just the first job that gave them confidence yep. that they had value. Look, he's not looking at the camera. What did I say? What did I say? And it, you know. They're lying when they're not looking at the camera. They don't like looking at the camera when they're telling these shitty lies. And like value that they could get paid for. Yeah. You know? And that was just. That How many times have we watched Fathering Autism and Priscilla and Asa like just convince themselves on camera by talking to each other that they're the best people, that the, the, they're like the best people in the world? They deserve all the awards and shit. <laughs> it was so cool. So it provided a stepping stone for, for several people. And that's that's something to be proud of. I'm uh, proud of that. Are you? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that like warmed my heart. And then another one works for Publix. Yeah. And he's thriving. Yeah. And so two of like the 15 people you employed over the past year have jobs. Wow. You guys are saints. Have you ever checked into the Catholic Church to maybe see if they can give you maybe key saints? Scylla, the saint of slime life. Asa, the saint of a holes. <laughs> so excited for him. Yeah. We you didn't guys, get to do it for as long as I was. I cannot believe they turned this failure into like how amazing they are. Remember when they're in the pool and they're like, we give the homeless people all the time. I've never seen people so high off their own farts. It's actually impressive. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. Wanted, but we still made a difference. And that's at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether you touch one person or 5,000 people. Yeah. Don't touch 5,000 people. Right? Okay. We were in a pandemic and stuff. Just don't touch 5,000 people. Okay. Please don't. Just be careful who you touch. You know, one person. That's all it takes for me. Okay. Oh, is it? Good. First of all, this gas leg. Second of all, this is like moving the goalposts, like in front of your eyes. Like you're about to hit, the, kick the goal, and they're like, Aah! and you can hear the scraping. And you're like, you just moved the goalposts. Like, no, we didn't. This is where they were supposed to be. 
This is fate. So the biggest question we've gotten on the social media. Here's the biggest question. Close your door. Post is why, why, and that's and and I haven't answered it directly because there's so many reasons. Answer it to the camera. Um. So first of all, overhead. overhead. Oh, the camera's on me. Oh my god. Oh no! Don't look at me. Her head is huge. Um. Just the. Did he just say her head is huge? Just kidding. Overhead is huge. You know, rent of places and all that, of course, which that, that you know, goes, you know, we knew what that was going to be going into it. Mm -hmm. But then you consider that there is an enormous employee shortage in our country. So you have to pay double what you would normally pay. Mm, you didn't know that? Okay. Mm -hmm. For that position. It it's like they went into this being like, oh, it should be all good. <laughs> But now they have a business degree, so that's good. Don't require any skill or formal training or anything, right? Um, just like very minimal on-the-job training. So you're paying double, but you can't charge your customers double. So, because they would you'd be crazy. Right. Like $40 an hour to take yeah. photos with your own phone. Like right. people would look at you like you're nuts. Um, so you're paying to, and this is something a lot, a lot of business, every business is facing right now in our country. Because of the employee shortage, you're having to pay just an astronomical amount. Um, and, and that's something like if you have it, or, you know, you could work there, <laughs> you know, because you don't do anything else. What do you do? These people went on like RV trips across the country. That's what they did with their money. And they just, they paid a lady a little bit more to run that shit. And apparently no one liked her. So good. Good for you. It ran a business. You're just, yes, we completely agree. A fair wage needs to be paid. We could go into an entire podcast on the topic. I'm sure you could, but you won't. But you can't go from... I mean, please, you just got a business degree. You should probably tell everybody about your business degree. Business owners aren't sitting around just being millionaires. You know, this is not small business owners. This is not how it works. It's not, I know that's how it may be presented. This is not how it is. No, you get what you put into it. You work hard, you will get rewarded for that hard work. Especially if you own the business. If I owned a business, I'd probably work sun up to sundown, right? If you own a business, it's a lot different than being an employee of a business. I did construction for like 15 years of my life. It's really hard to find guys. And then again, I was like this too. Like if it's five o'clock, I want to go home. I don't want to sit here and work extra hours for this guy. I want to go home and live my life. But if I was the business owner, man, I'd be working up. Sun came up, sun came down because I know that that directly benefits me. When you don't put work into your business that you started, then of course it's going to fail. You expected all these people that, and I think this is what they, I think he honestly said this in one of his videos is like, I want you guys to want this. I want you to be so good at this. I want you to like own it and be the, and all that shit. Like you're trying to compel your low wage employees to work because it lines your pockets. It's never going to work that way, everybody. You might find the odd person who's really good and you pay them what they're owed and they might do that, but that's very, very rare. Business owners are different. Like Mark, my best friend, that guy builds, basically built his own damn house. Sun up to sundown with his bare damn hands because he knows it directly benefits himself. If he can't get something done, he'll do it himself. He's a hardworking guy and that's why he's successful. But it's really hard to find people who want to do that for you when it doesn't directly benefit them over and above their wages at all. Then that's what he expected from these people. Um, when you when you jack up the, the pay scale drastically, the cost of goods has to go up also. Otherwise, you're operating at a deficit. That's how it is. Um, yeah, he's, he deficited that shit. <laughs> the other reason is it didn't work out how we thought it was going to work out with us being able to have someone else run it, right? Right. That there didn't it work is. out how we had planned. Um, so it was more hands-on than we would like for it to have been. Right. Because that was not our intention from the beginning. What wasn't your intention from the beginning? Did you say, were you promised by Selfie World that you could just like run it hands off? Is that what you were promised? And then Abby's situation changed. So it's not even like we could- Abby's situation changed because you changed Abby's situation. You pulled her out of school. And unless you're not telling us the entire truth, something went down. Then you fired her teacher and then took on the role of a teacher that you are not prepared to do because you're clearly lazy. You can't even run your own damn business at your own deficit and at your own peril. So you take all this business shit that you didn't learn from and you're applying that now to educating your daughter. And you don't think we're going to take notice of that? Come on now. Fill in. Right. Like at the beginning when we figured out, okay, we have to be managers we were able to fill in. You and I were kind of taking turns going back and forth, mm -hmm. but 
We weren't even able to do that now because we're here. You're not anywhere. You don't do shit, Priscilla. You do slime life. You're on social media 24 hours a day. You don't do shit. Right. Five days a week. And then, so then people ask, you know, are you, have you stopped looking for another teacher? No. The problem is, it's the middle of the school year right now. Problem is, nobody wants to work for yo ass. All the good teachers are currently employed. Our, our goal is to snipe some teacher from another school, you know. That's nice. That's nice. A good teacher from a school will be like, hey, you want to you wanna come on over here? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they will after they see your videos and that they'll talk to that other teacher because they can just look at your video and find out who it is. Hey, I'm wondering, Sally, what was your experience like with the masses? Well, let me tell you some shit. Good luck because you're so public, too, and you guys are this who you are. You have a reputation probably inside the world. Even if you didn't have a YouTube channel, you have a reputation inside that world that probably has rippled into everybody's ears. Nobody's going to want to work for you. They probably love Abigail because she's amazing, but they don't want to work for you. That's why you can't find a damn teacher because of who you guys are. How do you not see that? Go get therapy and get help. You know, I want to entice another teacher to come on over. And, and that's... So you're going to take them from their $60,000 a year job and won't give them 30000 That sounds fair. It's our goal, honestly, but... That's just not a, not an option right now. They're they're employed. Like what good? Like if a teacher was like, hey, I'm a great teacher, but I'm gonna leave my kids high and dry. They're not have a substitute faculty because there's also a teacher shortage, and they were willing to leave an entire classroom of students just up to some substitute. I wouldn't want them either. Excuse me? Did you just say you're trying to snipe some teacher from a school who's really good, but then said if they did want to leave, I wouldn't want them anyway? Well, they're gonna leave if you snipe them. They're gonna be left. They're a teacher next year during a... How are you saying this in one fluid motion like we're not going to notice? You know, I want to snipe a teacher that's really good from the school, but if they come halfway through, I don't want them anyway because they're assholes, but I'm going to take them in the summer and they can't go back even though there's a teacher shortage. Are you out of your damned mind, Asa? Are you crazy? They don't even know what they're saying. They're just spouting bullshit like they always do. Because that's, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's not. Yeah. Really, that's not personal. Well, and the other thing is, is we kind of want, after we had our first teacher, we kind of decided as a family, like, okay, maybe we should divide, like, come. Nothing's divided. Don't you dare say divide up the shit. Up with her plan. Yeah. Right? And so this is exactly, so there's no room for, like, well, that's not really what we had in mind. Like, this yeah. is kind of more what we had in mind. So we're, like, developing that as we go. I'm not hands-on, but I kind of come up with... Boom. See? I don't do anything, but I sort of want to be a part of it. Some of the ideas. Mm -hmm. I, mean, <laughs> I, want, I want ideas that I just don't want to do any. I don't want to have anything to do with that. Okay? I have slime life and shit. I got lipstick to sell to, to people. I have lipstick to sell to morons. You implement them so we're able to create this structure right and say, Look, and so this is what we got can you build upon this and make it better exactly. you know we're not teachers so. exactly and you just admitted it he's admitting it to you guys a lot of people are like well they're the parents and they know he's admitting to you right there he doesn't know how to educate his daughter well he pulled her out of school and then fired the teacher that was teaching her why didn't you wait until you had someone else lined up right it's they're not telling you the whole truth and now she's left without an education against people who are self-admitting that they can't educate her. Who suffers in this scenario, everybody? Abigail. Who suffers from being exploited her whole life? Abigail. Who lacks, who doesn't get any dignity or a chance to consent to what, what goes on in her life? Abigail. All of this at Abigail's expense at all levels. And can you implement the things that we're doing day to day? Right. So. What are you doing day to day? Implement what? What are you doing? We also have that going on right now. Yeah. Before we find another teacher. Yep. So, and this has been an on, like I said, I think earlier in the video, it's been wow. an ongoing thing. Wow. Uh, this shit just took a turn. Um, you, you guys just weren't privy to it, but, you know, as far as closing on selfie, well, oh, yeah. you know, I've been working on this for, since September. Your shit has fallen since September, so how much money have you lost since September? Holy shit, it's almost December. I think. I mean, we knew before the summer was over, it was going to happen. Yeah, but... Talking July, August? Damn! How long has Selfie World been around? So as of June 6, 2021, they were building it. So it lasted one year before this shit was shut down. I mean, as far as, like, we sent, any, we sent a letter in September. So, yeah. 
Yep. And then the other reason, you know, kind of goes along with. I love the lighting. Such a mood. With the, you know, Abby being homeschooled. We just, and some of you guys said it, you know, and Priscilla and I kind of enjoy being spread thin. Like, we enjoy being all over the place. Please. Place and stuff like that. But you can't give 100% if you're spread out amongst three different things. You're only going to give 33.33333% among those three things. That's just how it works. You, you can't. What three things do you have going? What do you do, Asa? You literally do nothing. You guys don't do shit, man. You don't have anything else. You vlog. What are you talking about? We like being spread thin. You don't do anything. So four different things. Right. You know? And it would have been different if it was our passion. Yeah. Then we would have dropped something else and said, okay, let's go into this. Yeah. Dropped what? Priscilla, going to these events where you literally drink champagne and celebrate how amazing all you are at your MLM events? Your predatory bullshit? What do you do? You don't even ship that shit, I don't think. <laughs> I am flabbergasted. People who actually work hard must look at this and be like, <laughs> I must be laughing at these people. Like, you don't know what hard work is, lady. But it's just not our passion either. Right. Yeah. So why did you start a business if it wasn't your passion? You just threw money in the garbage. Congrats. Yeah, we can't. You know what you should have done? You know what you could have done? Is buy a Dunkin' Donuts. I kid you not. I don't know if they would have given you one. But you could have franchised a Dunkin' Donuts. That's evergreen. You guys love Dunkin' Donuts. Why don't you just do that? You could have afforded it easily. We can't continue to spread ourselves that thin and still perform well. In, in, and now especially, I cannot. I, am, I have an obligation to Abby to teach her. Yeah, but this whole shit with Abby didn't go down until recently. So you can't use that as an excuse. You said this was failing near the end of the summer. You weren't teaching Abigail near the summer. She had her own. She wasn't even in school. She was on summer break. And then she you pulled her out of school. So you can't use that as an excuse. We're not, you can't, no. You don't get to say that. Because it's not the reason this business failed. That you're taking care of Abby. Because nothing had changed until like a couple a month ago or two months ago. And you just admitted it was way before that. So nice try there, bro. I definitely can't spread myself. Thin. Like I can't neglect that. It, of, of all the things we do, that's something that can't be neglected. And it would be if we continued on this road. So... So there you go. There's the reasons. And oh, less stress. Great reasons. I picked apart in two seconds. Awesome. Less stress. What we need is less stress in our lives. <laughs> oh, something else I was thinking about while I was out there by myself. And I started to cry. Keep, why do you guys keep your doors open? Right in the trailer as I was moving this, that stupid orange couch and the five Christmas trees. D d that was... That was when we opened Selfie World. That was right in the peak of Abby's like um, sensory overload going into places. You remember that? So you created a sensory overload place at her peak of sensory overload. You sure you wanted to say that on camera? Okay. All right. Like we couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. And that was like. And so you started a Selfie World. You couldn't go anywhere. So you started a sensory overloaded selfie world. Hmm. That makes complete sense. Like the first, uh, and it's, it's mind blowing how it's always both them, eh? That was a uh, was a room her and her mama put together. So yeah. <laughs> that it'll always hold a special place in my heart, just because Abby was comfy there. So why don't you recreate that room in your house? That'd be cool. Hey, here you go, Abby. It's the room you created. You seem to love it. Here you go. They don't think of that shit though. You know. First time she walked in, she's like, Whoa. I love when these people sit down and talk like they're smart and then take someone, a dumbass like me, can just break down their shit in seconds. It's because they're so used to just talking at a camera and not saying anything of value that they don't often realize how stupid what they're saying is or how detrimental it is. And maybe later they'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe that's how we thought. Like at the end, in the end, Abigail's the only one who suffers when they make shitty choices. Because that's her nest egg that they're digging into, by the way. And I, again, I hardly, I, I highly doubt that they have made enough money to put away like they say they have. Like if I go to their channel right now, they have made, they have only, they only have 215 million views. That's not, I mean, they've probably made a large chunk of money. Okay. I'm talking probably eight figures easily. But not enough to put away like they say they were. Probably there's no way that what they've done here is enough 
to let her survive the rest of her life. Impossible. Considering all the shit that they've bought and like wasted money on. Think about all the things that they've bought, that they have. They have two homes, one for Isaiah, one for them. That stuff is an investment in the future. I'll, I'll give you that, okay? Because a home is an investment. But everything that they buy and the enormous value of those things, all of it is depreciating. As soon as they drove the truck off, it's worth like 10% less. Probably worth way less now. As soon as you drive that RV away, that shit loses half its value. Your golf cart, not worth that anymore. Everything they do and all these big, big, giant purchases that they have, all that shit is not a value. It depreciates. So where are your investments that you say you're putting away for your daughter for her future? Because I don't see it. And then you sit here and talk like this and we can just debunk all your shitty arguments because you make bad choices. And one of those major choices you made was to exploit Abigail. And all of your money comes from that. All the platforms you built off of that, like slime life and lipstick on a pig and all that shit, all that shit that's built from that is built off the back of Abigail. And you guys spend it all on yourselves. You should be ashamed of yourself. Maybe one day you'll wake up and be like, holy shit, we're terrible people. I hope so. And maybe you'll have, you'll turn back and say, we're sorry, Abigail, that we did this to you. That we took your dignity away for a paycheck. We're sorry. I hope someday they'll wake up. I really do. And I hope someone steps in when Abigail turns 18 and says, you're not allowed to do this to her anymore. And like, she can have her autonomy back. She can have somebody who has, who protects her and she can go to a place that's good for her, that she can learn. Cause right now she's in limbo. She was pulled out of school. It's bullshit what they're doing. And they're so damned selfish. Selfish world is what they should have called that place. Burn. Anyway, everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> These people. Right? It just never ends. Dummies. I don't like them, obviously, clearly. But I like you. I think you're amazing. Incredible and valuable. Don't you damn well forget it. Don't fly flare. Ever. I mean, like, ever. Okay, if you're stuck on an island somewhere, like Tom Hanks in Castaway, which is an amazing movie, and your only way off that island, it's like four years later, you're lean, you build, you got like dreads in your hair and shit, and you're just like, you're done. And you eat coconuts and just you shit too much in the, in the sand. I don't care if the airline lands and says, hey, we're here to pick you up. You say, no thanks. That's how bad Flair is, okay? So don't fly with them. But don't forget how incredible and valuable you are. And I will see you. Tomorrow's my birthday, so bye.